Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. It's the five. God is winning. We are blessed. Because he loves us so much. So, Hallelujah. Amen. Worship you. God, we honor you. Blessed be your holy name. Father, we thank you for day five. Thank you, Lord, because it is by your mercy that we are not consumed. I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit that makes intercession for us. Lord, to you be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yet again, O oh Lord, we are at your foot, O oh God, to learn and to hear from you, O oh God. Lord, we know, O oh God, that in your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. O oh Lord, we ask, O oh God, for the opportunity to partake of your goodness today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you for our viewers. Oh Lord, as they're listening, oh God, speak unto them, oh God. Give them a word in due season, oh God. Father, let, oh God, these 21 days birth a miracle in their life, oh God, that will cause them to be celebrated. Lord, we give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's day five, and we are very, very excited. God is winning. Hallelujah. For those of you watching for the first time, it's Pray for Nation, Canaan Experience, 21 days prayer and fasting. Mm. And we've been doing a lot, a lot of waiting, waiting just to. So you can be blessed, so we can be blessed, so everyone, so our land can be blessed. Hallelujah. And I just want to invite you, invite you. So just dive into what God wants us to um, talk about today. As you all know, we believe. And we are helped by the Holy Spirit. And so we'll be allowing the Holy Spirit just lead us in the direction that he wants us to go right now. Amen. I wanted to ask you, where are you watching from? Do you know that concerning your life, God has the final say? God is winning. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. God is winning. Yeah. I just want you to know that if he sent his word and if he led their diseases, he's still doing miracles today. And so I just want to encourage all of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. Yes, so, we looked at, as the, as you read on top of this video, you see prayers in the face of persecution. Prayers in the face of persecution. That will be our direction today. You know, my dear, sometimes there's this um, notion. There's this notion that as long as it is God, 
it should not hurt. Mm. So we've seen people go for prayer and deliverance for something that God is is passing them through. We've seen people rebuke, you know, instructions that God gives them only because in their mind, if it is God, you should not go through any form of trial. But today we're going to be just praying. Today we are going to be praying. Today we are going to be talking about Hallelujah. Today we're going to be just following the lead of the Holy Spirit. He's a good God. Hallelujah. He just reminded me at the place of prayer about the story of Paul and Silas and God has sent me to speak directly to someone going through one form of persecution or the other for those of you that don't have an idea what persecution is. It is that trial that you face because you took a stand for God. And the major example we're seeing today, I miss all the examples in the Bible, is the story of Paul and Silas just for the sake of the gospel, just for the sake of preaching the gospel, just because people believed in something else and they came with the message of Jesus telling the people of what they did. And interest, the interesting thing about the story of Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16 is the fact that they even recognize that they are, they are servants of the Most High God. I don't know who needs to hear this. But they even recognized them. So there are people out there that need to know the recognition can also attract hatred. It can also attract, you know, in the case of Paul, they seize them and threw them into prison. What God is reminding us is that these are parts of the plan. So as we ask God for our promise, let's just be reminded also that this is also part of the plan. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't plan to talk much today, but the good news is that at about midnight when they prayed, God came through for them in verse 25. Mm -hmm. The word of God says, suddenly, 26, there was, a, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chain came loose. I like this translation. The jailer woke up and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself, we are still here. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So right now we would pray. Whatever you're going through for the sake of the gospel, whatever you're going through because you identify with Christ, whatever you're going through because God sent you right now, I want you to join us to pray. The first thing we will be praying about today is that, dear Lord, give me strength. Yes, he is our strength. Yes, he has given us a spirit, but today God is telling us in the face of persecution, trials, mm. ask him for strength to go on. 
Mm. Asking for strength to finish well. Mm. Because we are saying on this journey, you will encounter this. Asking for that strength. Mm. When the Israelites left Egypt, Moses kept on directly or indirectly asking God for the enablement mm. to keep going, to keep going, to keep leading the people. Sometimes it was so frustrating. Sometimes he wondered why the people were saying this. They would tell him, did you bring us to die here? At some point, he lost his temper. But you see, he kept on going. You need to pray, Father, give me the strength to go on. Can we pray? We're here to pray with you. We're here to tell you the mind of God. Oh, Sayado Siada Basha. Leparonda Kazika Sayado. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Lord God, we ask. That this joy does not diminish in the name of Jesus. That the Lord God in you we will stand in you. We are rooted in you, O oh Lord. We will not give up in the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus, I declare upon Amen. you that this friend that comes from the Lord would erase every form of frustration. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this Amen. strength that is being released will give you peace. Amen. Peace on every side. Peace Amen. in the storm for you to keep going in the name of Jesus. I Amen. decree and declare that this strength that is that is released will quicken your mortal body, that you will Amen. be able to manifest on every side by the help of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I decree Amen. that this strength that is released will mm. attract the right people and eliminate every form of controversy when it comes mm. to followers and disciples in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, I decree that the strength that is released will mark an end to every form of lack, every form of poverty, and that help even in your finances will be released on every side in the name of Jesus. I decree that this strength will manifest as speed, Speed that will put an end to every form of stagnation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The mercies of God, the Holy Spirit is telling me that the mercy of God comes with a solution. The Bible says, God speaking, He said, I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. And the, um, Psalm chapter 119. Psalm 119, verse 41, the Bible says, Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation, according to your word. He said, 42 says, So shall I have an answer for him that reproacheth me, for I trust in your word. So the mercy of God comes with answer. He comes so to give you a solution, what to do to get out of that situation that you are in. Whatever the situation is, whatever the challenge that you are going into, the mercy of God is going to speak for you right now in the name of Jesus. The Amen. mercy of God is going to come with an answer, an answer that will end that reproach, an answer that that will give you an age that will change your, your, your level as it were right now. So we begin to pray for that mercy to come upon us, come upon you right now. That answer, that mercy that comes with an answer, a solution. We remember that the Bible says, 
that therefore there is no temptation that has taken you but such that is common to all men. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. But we with the temptation make a way of escape for you. So we pray that as, as God's mercy comes for you, as the mercy of God speaks for you, the solution, the way, the way of escape out of that challenge, out of that problem will be released and be revealed to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us continue to pray as he guides us, as he leads us. Say a do say a rova shatter. Leba runde kazi ketayi. Leba runde kasata ya do si ketayi. Le to funta kata ya do si ana. Le kata ya do si kete lebe. I am a shatter ya do. The word of God says, "I shall not die, but live and declare the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living." Even though you know that persecution is part of the plan, God is calling on us. Decree upon yourself right now, I shall not die. But leave and declare to the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. Le koto sonde ke barando si andavas, le da kasta taya da bosi. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. Se todo ro boshe taya da bosi ke taya dosa. Le barunde kasi ke taya dosa. Le barunde kasa taya da da bosa taya do koto sonde ke tele barada. Rido si ketalaba. I shall not be caught short. The plan and the promise of God shall not elude me. I shall not be restricted. Neither will I be stopped. Oh, Masti and those they got tired He is ready to grant us our heart desires. Open your mouth and decree upon yourself. Death will be far away from my dwelling place. But I and my family, they to shata kabariandos, leto tata rida basi dada, reto sonega varianda shatayada. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, concerning the issue of death. God is saying, pray into the future of that work. Pray that Father will finish well. There will be no demonic suddenly that will come up that would make me choose death instead of to leave. Oh, Father will survive even in this ganga. Father, in my time of manifestation, at that peak in ministry, at that peak in this business, oh Lord, I will not experience any form of mishap that would, oh Lord, claim my life, that would put me at a place of sorrow, that would make me decide to take my life. Oh, I tell you this prayers is God leading us, is God directing us. Yes, 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 yes. When you abide and you believe his word, I need you to know that he will help you. There are things Jesus did that when the disciples even got into a quagma, somehow heaven intervened and the Holy Spirit wants to help us, not just today, but in 20 years' time, in 30 years' time. So as we open our mouths to pray against every untimely death, every death orchestrated by the kingdom of darkness, we're also praying that the process will be as God says, uh, 
that we may not fall victim to what we did not take possession when he says go and take authority and dominion that was God telling us that whatever we want we must decree and he will bring it to pass this is how the kingdom of heaven operates Oh, yes, 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 I see, I see this prayer marking an end to every pitfall not of God in the name of Jesus. I see this prayer marking an end to every trap of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I see this prayer marking an end to every demonic attack by witchcraft and wizards in their covens in the name against that that person watching in the name of Jesus. Oh, I see this prayer as a strengthening, as an enablement, as a access to different Autos, uh, where this person is able to navigate uh, terrains for the greatness of the work God has put in his door in the name of Jesus. Oh, I see this person doing this prayer has been set on a city. A chain has been broken. God has elevated you right now. Hey, and I see that this prayer is paving a path where this person will be remembered in the name of Jesus because God has just revealed to my heart killing or death in the spirit does not mean just physical death, it could also be spiritual death, it could also be that place of obscurity. But I see that person that has done this prayer being lifted every every chain has been broken elevation has come oh yeah to lamp because god has revealed himself as your partner and your friend something is happening here yes 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 something is happening here there's a quickening there's a quickening in the spirit something is happening no oh, yes there's an equipping in the spirit in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah amen amen Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, position yourself to be found worthy of the mercies of God. He said, Jesus Christ encountered the woman, the woman that was bent over, and asked his disciples, shall this woman be made whole? You know, and then they found her, she, she was privileged to be found in a place where God's mercy spoke for her. We're going to pray and say, my father, my father, by the reason of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ upon the cross of Calvary, let your yes. mercy locate me today. In the name Amen. of Jesus, oh Lord Amen. God, by the sacrifice of Jesus, Jesus died for me to be made free. Jesus died that I may have life and have it abundantly. Jesus died and left his peace, which the world cannot give for me. Oh, Lord God, let the sacrifice of Jesus upon the cross of Calvary, let it bet mercy for my life in the name of Jesus. Mercy against Amen. workers of iniquity. Mercy against demonic altars, necromancers, enchantment of the demonic realm. Oh Lord, let the blood of Jesus speak mercy for me in the name of Jesus. Let Amen. mercy, oh Lord God, speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Ela do zika tariali zundo le baria to baze kete karia ela do jabaria lagado moria gata bazenda mare bashwa kata la mare bashwa kata let the blood of Jesus speak for us right now in the name of Jesus Christ in our finances let the blood of Jesus in our health let the blood of Jesus speak in our ministries let the blood of Jesus 
speak in our schools, in our academic work, in our working place. Let the blood of Jesus speak for us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when the mercy, when the blood of Jesus speaks for us, the Bible says, then shall you return and discern between him that is serving God and him that is serving him not. Let your mercy, O God, speak for us, O God, and distinguish Amen. us and set us apart, oh God, as those who are serving you in spirit and in truth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So Amen. shall it be concerning your life today. In everything you set your hands to do, God's mercy will speak for you. In your finances, Amen. in your business, in your career, in your academics, everything that you set your hands to do, the mercy of God will speak for you and give you breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You see, Talking about mercy, that's a vital tool to pray about when you're going through persecution. The word of God says in First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9, it says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, so that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that he may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he required, requested. And now I'll pray, and Father, empower me. The word of God also says that you shall receive power, and after that the Holy Spirit shall come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses, even to the outermost part of the earth. My adult Father, empower me. Yes, it is given. God, empower me. But we can still ask, even those that are desirous of the gift of the Holy Spirit, you can ask him and he will give you. All we have seen in this story of Jabez is that of Axin. Is that of accent for that thing that would make a difference concerning our foundation scripture of Paul and Silas? They prayed and they cried, but there was a power that we're operating with as servants of God. There is a prayer attached to the identity, to the calling, to the office. Oh Lord, and Power me. Oh Lord, give me divine access as I put my eyes on you. Oh Lord, may I continue, oh God, to be changed into your image. May my mind, oh God, continue to be transformed. Abba Father, oh let there be no difference between you and me. May the light of your presence and your spirit shine in oh God upon me. I tell you for those of you doing these prayers, you would need this at this time. There will be something beyond the ordinary to save you from that place of persecution. You need this equipping at this time. Oh God, I support my heart on you. Father, may heaven, oh God, be, oh God, conscious of what I'm doing. May heaven at every moment in time, oh God, appear on the scene, oh God, when it, my issue is being tabled. Abba, Father, I pray for dominion. I pray, oh God, for increase. Above all things, Father, I fear, oh God, I'm coming from will not be a barrier. Oh God, that the old man, the old life will not reflect in my life again. Oh Lord, my God, every atom of the old life, oh God, of sin, not of you today. Father, I pray that if it is knowledge, oh God, give me access to it, that I may 
may continue, O oh God, to be washed. I may continue, O oh Lord, to be revitalized, O oh God, in your presence. I adore you, I adore Yes, 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 yes. I see this prayer paving ways. I see this prayer increasing the hunger for the word of God. I see this prayer sharpening the eyes of that one that is praying. I see this prayer also healing the physical body of that one that is watching I see this prayer as one entering into a covenant of divine protection on this journey in the name of Jesus I see this prayer as God manifesting in the life of that one praying and that one watching I see this prayer as a new beginning for that one watching I see this prayer as an that as a time as as a beginning that marks an end to every form of wickedness and every form of pain. I say this prayer as one literally escaping that place of persecution that would have ended, ended that walk. Ah, I see this prayer as God arriving at the scene as your helper, as your helper. Father Lord, we thank you. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So Holy Spirit say it is time. It is time for you to trust me again. You lost trust in God because of the circumstances you found yourself in. And you took your eyes off the Lord because you felt because you felt that God's mercy was slow. The Bible says in Psalm 121, it says, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. God said, you must believe me and trust me because I made the heaven and the earth. I will come through for you. For those of you in need of one financial blessing or the other, the Holy Spirit said, I will come through for you. He said, the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things that are revealed are for you and for your children after you. He said, I will come through for you right now. So I begin to pray for grace to stand upon God's word. The word of the Lord created the heavens and the earth. The word of God has the capacity to turn your situation and your circumstances around. I begin to pray for you, Father, Lord, of concerning these ones, O oh God. Let them stand upon your word, O oh God. Father, as they stand upon your word, O oh God, recreate their world afresh, O oh God, by your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, let every negative circumstances in their life, O oh God, Father, let it give way at the instance of your word, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Amen. Lord God, as they look unto you, O oh God, their faces will be lightened, O oh God. Every demon of shame, O oh God, shall check out, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask Amen. concerning them right now, Father, let your word come, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your Amen. word come, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Amen. I thank you, because your word, O oh God, will come speedily for them, O oh God, and shall change their lives Turn their lives around, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are Amen. 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 I just hear God say, my spirit, ease has been released. In your Amen. finances, ease has been released. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It was said concerning Jesus in Luke chapter 3, verse 22. It says, And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved son, indeed, I am well pleased. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being as was proposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli. Hallelujah. This happened when Jesus went to baptism. God Amen. is telling us, pray 
for divine recognition. There is an announcement that you give to yourself. But beyond that announcement is an identity that heaven gives you. It is heaven identifying with you when there is that need all the time. Persecution can come as a questioning to that which God has called you to do. And right now we pray for a divine enablement, a divine identity where he speaks, he equips. When God comes, he strengthens. When God comes, he also walks. Can we just open our mouths and pray, Lord, identify with me. It may be his promise, but I tell you, he is restricted if you don't pray. Oh, Lord, identify with me. Identify with this work you've put in my hand. Father, I've called myself your child. Concerning Paul of uh, uh, Silas, it was said that they were servants of God. But there was a contention. The people wanted to do their own thing. Child of God, when God identifies with you, he does his own thing, which is beyond what man wants to do. There will always be a battle of man wanting to do his own thing and God doing his father identify with whatever way you want to use to showcase the fact that Lord you sent me oh Lord do it now in this situation for me in Jesus name I pray oh Father you came down as the dove and you spoke Father Lord do that thing that will speak, oh God, in my life. That will speak, oh God, even to the deaf ears of your presence and your power in me. Mm -mm. Oh Lord, my God. I'm asking when God, I tell you, when God identifies with you, my standard comes to an end. Mm -hmm. In the case of Paul and Silas, he came suddenly. It was said like a mighty Russian wind. Oh, Father, appear. Father, in that time when I will need you, Father, appear. I need you to understand that this is his promise for his children. And as you ask for these, know ye therefore that those that carry his spirit are a rest assured. And with the consciousness of these, it is, it is pertinent that you ask him to forgive you. You desire to be his son because this is the secret key. Because the nature of God is always to come through for you. And I see this person doing this prayer. God is giving you the assurance that he will come through for you. I Amen. see this person doing this prayer. God has arrived at the same and any time there is a dispute of your identity, every time God sees that he wants to establish your authority, he steps into the scene like this. And I see God fighting on behalf of someone by stepping into the scene using miracles, signs, and wonders right now in the name of Jesus. I see God changing the atmosphere of someone also praying these prayers. All of a sudden, there's just an atmosphere that leaves no one in confusion of where you stand and who you represent. In the name of Jesus, I see this atmosphere. Just like Elijah has taken someone to the next level where you are able to be in different nations with so much ease. I see someone 
Lord, there would be ease in shifting in realms <laughs> to match and overtake what the enemy is planning to do with all this spiritual spiritual stuff that they are about. Oh, I see, I see God moving that one into a dimension, oh, a different dimension that will bet miracles and bring mainly to the saving knowledge of God. Lord, we love you. And I see someone catching the secrets to wealth. Finally, the secrets and the enablement to make wealth and stay in wealth. So I see someone doing this prayer, God arriving the scene as a light on you that is attracting many from north, south, east and west. God is saying, concerning you, no door shall be closed. You will not be stranded. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit said, and he quoted this scripture, he said, there's a way that seemed right unto a man, but the end thereof is destruction. The Holy Spirit is saying, don't depend on your own way. Depend on the way that I will show you. Depend on the instruction that I will give you. So right now we pray, oh Lord, my Father, your people are before you, oh God. As your word comes, as your instruction comes, oh God, let it come with the grace and the power for execution in the name of Jesus. I Amen. take away, oh Lord, their capacity to argue with your instructions, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. Lord, whatever you say, O King of Glory, Father, I command, O Lord, right now, that their hearts be made pure, O God, and their hearts be made true, O King of Glory, to run with your instructions, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord, because your word says, that will show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. O God, today, as your word comes, O God, as your instruction comes, O God, it will reveal to them, O God, the way of life and the path to salvation and prosperity, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. Lord, I give you all the glory. My Lord and my God, I worship you. Amen. Oh Lord God, according to your word, O oh God, be it unto them, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. And right Amen. now, the word of God says in First Thessalonians chapter 5, it says, verse 14 says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. It's a seed that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. This is an instruction that will set you apart when you are faced with persecution. It went on to say, Rejoice evermore. It says, Pray without season. Mm hmm. It says, in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Concerning you, he went on to say, quench not the spirit, despite, despise not prophet signs. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your Holy Spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a faithful seed that calleth you. Who also will do it? Brethren, pray for us. Grace, greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle will be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. And I will Amen. pick out one major two, which is I miss all this instruction from the Lord. Don't 
forget that all in everything give time for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. When they prayed, when Paul and Silas prayed and they cried and they sang, help was released. You will do yourself a good in that situation. Pray more. Pray more. Pray more. Pray more. And right now, I just want you to join us. I hear a song of my spirits. God of Elijah, send down fire. 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 There's a fire that turns everything around. There's a fire that becomes a fence on your journey. And that fire is here right now. There's a fire that makes you win in every situation. There's a fire that has implicated you to reign and to dominate and to be above and not beneath. Oh, this fire from above has the ability to lift you up and to steal every stone. I pray that this fire will be your guide. I pray this fire will be an energizer for you. I pray for you that all you do will be laced with this fire. That the one who rides with chariots of fire will find the place to reveal himself to you as fire. To further increase that which you already possess. He's sending on fire. He's sending them fire. This fire will take you into what you've been praying for. This fire will help you. This fire will steal the storm. This fire will give you success. This fire will open your eyes to mysteries. This fire will touch your tongue and make you speak in unknown languages. All for the sake of the propagation of the gospel. There's something about this fire. And Father, we thank you for arriving at the scene as fire. Hallowed be your name. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Spirit is saying that it is possible that you are living in an area where demonic activities are enchanted into the atmosphere. And because of that, it looks as if your heavens over you have been blocked because of those negative enchantments. He said, remember my word. He said, therefore, there is no enchantment against Israel. There is no divination against Jacob. So he's beginning to pray right now, begin to say, Father, every enchantment against my life, against my prosperity, against my business, against my life, against everything that concerns me right now begins to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord God, anywhere mm -hmm. my name has been called for evil, Father, turn it around for my good in the name of Jesus. 
Oh Lord God, raise up helpers for me. That even, oh God, in this situation, oh God, Father, I will break forth, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I decree over you, no enchantment will prosper again in the name of Jesus. I decree over you right now that the heavens over your life, over your finances is open right now in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I command you, spirit, soul, and body to break forth and break free right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in your body, be healed in your mind right now in the name of Jesus. Be renewed and be transformed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The yoke of poverty is broken over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Every projection of the kingdom of darkness over your life right now is broken in the name of Jesus. I set Amen. you free. Jesus said, he who the son of man has set free, he is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I Amen. set you free right now from every affliction of the devil right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Continue to enjoy the presence of God even when we go off. This is day five. This is the five. You have a question, you can reach out. You have a testimony, you can reach out. The Holy Spirit, the spirit of healing, the spirit of miracles, the spirit that teaches us the word. How has this impacted you? I hope you've been blessed today. We will be here by the grace of God tomorrow again. Pray for us. We will be praying for you. We will be praying for our land that God will break that spirit of unusual persecution and especially upon our land. Man made persecution and that God will reign supreme in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, for sharing. We love you with the love of God. On behalf of me, Susan Uzono, and my husband, Estia Suzono, stay blessed. In Jesus' name. It says bye bye for God now. Bless you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. See you. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm.